Full Throttle at Six Flags Magic Mountain is cruelly underrated. Nobody talks about this, and whenever they do, they talk about how the launch is bad, the ride is short, and the fact that there are brakes on the drop. But I think Full Throttle is actually really good. Today, I'm going to talk about why I love Full Throttle and how it ranks so high on my list. The first reason why I love Full Throttle is the entrance and queue, and since these things are similar, I'm putting them in the same section. Although this coaster may not have a theme, it still has a good looking entrance with a big canopy with the ride name on it, screens playing music videos, and the backdrop of the ride's massive loop. The queue itself is short but passes right under the launch and you get so close to the launch track that you feel like you could reach up and touch it if you were tall enough and if there wasn't a net stopping you from doing something incredibly dangerous like that. Unfortunately, the station isn't really anything special. After you make your way through the queue and into the trains, your ride begins with a launch. This is the second reason to love Full Throttle, and it may not be the greatest launch out there, but it's not a mock launch. <laughs> this part of the ride is actually pretty okay, and I hate to see people trash on it. And obviously, it's a premiere and not an Intamin, so if you go into this not expecting a lot, you'll be decently surprised. And this launch isn't normal either. It blasts you straight out of the station like Accelerator, and it's a lot of fun, especially when the ride operators are telling jokes and then launching you. And obviously, since it goes straight out of the station, it launches from a standstill. And I have no idea why, but I prefer launches from a standstill to rolling launches. But overall, this is not a bad part of the ride by any means. And my launch standards may be low, but I enjoyed this. After that, you pull up into a gigantic vertical loop. This is the tallest loop outside of China, and I'm not going to fly across the world for one that's slightly bigger. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the tallest. But that isn't the reason why this element is good. The train crawls over the top of the loop, and it feels like it's going to roll back every time, which results in incredible hang time. Like, hang time that rivals the lagoon roll, and that that is saying something. After you complete the loop, you turn to the right, then to the left, getting some positive Gs, and then into a dive loop with a bit of hang time. This isn't much, but at least there's a second inversion. Then the train enters a tunnel where it slows to a stop. If you don't want spoilers for the ride, I would recommend skipping ahead in 3, 2, 1. The train then launches backwards into the dive loop where you get a moment of weightlessness, which is actually a lot of fun. After this, you accelerate back through the tunnel, then blast out of it, turning to the left. You rise up into an enormous hill, and something cool about this hill is that it uses the loop as its support. It's double-sided track. No matter which seat you're in, you will get float airtime over the crest of the hill and moderately strong ejector on the drop. Why the brakes on it? I know, okay? Be quiet. Even though there are brakes on the drop, it's still a great drop and you can still get those amazing forces. Then you turn back into the station. And even though this is a short ride, it packs in a lot in its ride time. It has launches, inversions, hang time, positive Gs, negative Gs, and weightlessness. It also uses the terrain to its advantage, which is really cool. Overall, this is just a great coaster with a lot of variety, and that is why I love Full Throttle. For me, it's ranked in the top 15 out of 58 coasters. With my upcoming visit to SeaWorld Orlando, it might be bumped out of the top 15, but it will still remain one of my personal favorites. It's just all around a fun ride, and the line doesn't normally take that long. So if you're at Six Flags Magic Mountain, definitely come hit this ride because it's really fun. Hey, thanks for watching. This is the first video that I made that I actually made a script for, and I think I'm gonna keep doing that because, well, this video was a lot easier to make, so, uh, Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.